righteous. And I think we're live. I can't tell because of the nav in the way. And of course I can't skip them because the internet's... A... Never mind. I'm going to get into a rant if I keep going on that. Ah, uh, Welcome everybody to another Tuesday art stream with Crispy and currently just Andy at the moment. Uh, Hi! Storm... Hi! Storm Hello. will be joining us later on. Uh, but they're both kind of busy with stuff, so... Oh, jeez. Why is it... Is it showing up on your end, or... It seems the screen is black on mine. Maybe that's just because I don't have the, uh... Okay, there we go. No, it's up now. All right, cool. So, for today, we're going to play a little game. The kaiju game. Andy, do you want to explain the kaiju game? Okay, <clears throat> the Kaiju Builder game is, it's a uh, artistic thought experiment game in a way, where we build a Kaiju using generally six parts. Let me see. You know, I was going to have all the rules and stuff in front of me, and as usual, I forget shit, and I'm like, <laughs> What? Okay, us being organized go against the stream, so... Yeah, but, um... A general kaiju is made up of six parts. You've got the head, the arms, the legs, the body, the tail, and then the six pits is like a special feature, you know? The special yes. feature would be something like a pair of wings, turtle shell... A giant horn, saber two fangs, you know, the dorsal spins like on Godzilla. You know, that, that one thing that makes it stand out. Kind yeah. of. Kind of get what you're saying, yeah. Also, uh, am I am I too loud at the, the moment, Chad, or am, am, I, am I good? Because I see people saying I'm in stereo, so. Alright, so we could start with the ones that you sent me the other day, but we also could just come up with one on the spot and see. Well, here's the thing, like, I'd like to at least be, you basically need, like, a DM and two other players. I mean, you don't necessarily need one, but if it's just, like, one guy and another guy, it's almost not needed, because you gotcha. could just make your own kaiju. It's Yeah. It, well, having at least... Well, having it like the guy that kind of controls the situation and two other people who can go work off of each other and come up with random parts, that's how you make it work. Yeah. Because uh, it, it, the whole concept is like... like it, Almost like too many chefs will spoil the pot, right? You know? But you're, you're yeah. leaning into that. You, you want enough chefs to be like... Well, I was going to make a snake monster. Well, I was going to make a turtle monster. Well, we made a bird monster somehow, so that's weird. First of all, thank you for reminding me about too many cooks. I've tried to forget that. Uh, oh, secondly, it makes sense. God, that that whole Adult Swim video was just straight yeah. weird. Well, I mean, it's it's Adult Swim. It's made for stuff oh, yeah. at like 2 in the morning. Let's see. Now, while we wait for the others to show up, I was going to say, we could go off the list. Of would you like you to, could... while you're doodling, would you like to talk about, like, the previous three we've made? Yeah, we can talk about them. Oh, I, I know what I can start the stream with proper, besides, you know, my derpy and block nest monster here. One, two, draw crap one, two. I could get in here. He said no Furbies today, so, well, I'm going to say no Furbies. No today. Furbies. What is it? He, he says I have a Furby quota, which I'm just like, listen... And then he's like, don't you say listen to me. And I'm like, you Build never... a crab, and then right at the very end, put a Furby face on it. Okay, just read me like a book here. Oh, wait, no, that's not how crab legs work, I don't think. I I mean, I've oh. eaten crabs, I just don't know if I've ever studied crab anatomy. Digiman Crabby. says, Crispy, did you get the cards I sent you? Did you get that thing I sent you? Uh, I, yeah, I have the, uh... Or did you send me some other ones? Because I have the two uh, sets that you sent me. You sent me the Furbin Mech one and then the, M the MS Paint slash uh, computerized horror Furby. 
if there's more in the mail, I haven't gotten them quite yet, but I will tell you something I did get in the mail uh, recently, which yeah. isn't too big a surprise because I ordered it, but uh, I talked to Parallax because uh, I wanted to commission him to make a mini of one of our characters in the Star Wars game that we do over in the Aux Unplugged. Oh. But I'll, I'll have to show you that. He did a really good job. I want to uh, paint it. Well, I don't, I I don't mean, know. I, I have two, but... <laughs> um, the other things he's... Well, he also sent me a bunch of other things, too. But the other thing that he sent that I requested was something that people may be familiar with. The Long Furbin Mech Mini that he made. So now I get a chance to paint a Long Furbin Mech, finally. And I gotta tell you, I'm looking forward to it. Because I'm going to make it absolutely cursed. Well... This guy anyway, like spider crab. He got some long ass legs. It's a, it's almost a snow, or not a snow. Is it a snow crab? What is it? The one that's got like the really, really long ones. I think that's like a spider imperial crab. crab. I think it's a spider crab. Yeah. Snow snow crabs are the ones that like to like fuck with fishermen boats and deadly as cat. Oh wait, no, that's king crab. Fuck. There's too many crabs. Babe. I have crabnesia. Oh. So let's see. So far we've got three kaiju. Let's see. The first one is what I call the uh, wreck. Uh, oh yeah, I've got it right. The Reykjavik. Bleh. The Reykjavik. Yeah, Reykjavik. The Reykjavik horror. And uh, this is an example of like how some people probably shouldn't be allowed to play the game. Like. Um, uh, Tim. Like, I mean, I want to see Tim play Cruelty Squad. I'm just gonna say. Lol. So, uh, off the bat, off the off the bat, it's it's weird. The head is a stubbed neck with a stone wheel with cursed writings along the edge. That was definitely a storm input. Yes. <laughs> Rail gave it Stretch Armstrong arms. <laughs> Tim gave it crab legs, and then Storm Natural. gave it a scaled tail dragging hooked chains of the slain behind it. Hey, it's it's Wacker. Oh, Wacker, you're just in trying. We're drawing your favorite animal. What in the fuck? It's not a Furby. Not yet. I... <laughs> I... <laughs> I... Aren't you glad that you're here this week and you're not punching hurricanes like last week? Uh... It's storming pretty bad right down here, like, the rain was going almost vertical for a while. Dang. Oh, we had that, uh, we had that last weekend with the hurricanes, we got a bit of Andy, rain here. rain normally does go vertical. <laughs> wow, oh, there's all kinds of rain in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of rain that slaps. The rain's going rain. vertical, oh my god! <laughs> It's kind it's of rain that when it hits you, it feels personal. All I can say is that the horizontal is raining. God, you're such an old man using words like nincompoop. Old well, man, I... look at my life. It's better than calling him a fuckhead. Oh my. I mean, that's fair. It's more, it's more acceptable in, uh, yeah. Pleasant company. Yeah. Lord Grimo says, Monster suggestion, a wolverine and a spider crab. Like, mixed Ooh. together? Like the X-Men wolverine? Like he's got crab claws? And no, I think crab. like the animal wolverine and a spider crab, like genetically. Oh. Like a furry crab, and instead of crab claws, it's got like Honey wolverine claws? Honey badger don't care. You better don't give a fuck. It, it, it like has big claw. It like it has big like uh, paws, but the claws aren't like your your typical like um, you know fingernail claws. Like they look like the the bubbly crab claws that are coming out. Oh god, you just gave me this horrible image of like people with fingers, but each finger is a crab claw. Yes. 
I thought of a bad guy wizard lich person who uh his beard was made of like spider legs. Crispy! What? It's a what? crab. It's a crab, Whacker. I know you don't like crab. <laughs> 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 I don't and you know, one of these days, I feel like you're gonna do that. And you're just not gonna come back to stream, and I'm gonna feel bad. <laughs> it is the deadliest catch. Yeah, if I if I saw that on my plate, I don't know if I'd want to. You eat know, it. Through, in, a, in a certain if, if people don't know what you're doing, that looks like a just a cyclopean eye in the middle. It kind of does. I need color for it, but oh yeah, well. Or let's like, do, let's do some kaiju brainstorming let, now that Black is here. That yeah. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. We can do it. Mm. Oh wait, no. You need to DM and Andy. No, no, no. It's it's the DM and one other person. So three max. That's fine. Why don't you? Okay, just, so we can. Why don't you just have him draw the ones that we already came up with? I mean, I, I wouldn't mind doing that either. Well, we someone... could. Oh, hold on a minute. What, what were you saying? Uh, go crispy. I was gonna say I could do the one that we were talking about with like the. Hold on. I have the, I have the list as well. Yeah. Oh God. There's... There's the Reykjavik Horror, the um, the Cursed oh. Lore Kaiju, and... Alright, no, I, I don't know how I'm going to draw 600 conjoined polar bears on my face. So, this is how I imagine the uh, the Reykjavik Horror. It's like... So, there was this, like, really gnarled, gnarled tree. That's Giant like crab that. that is an IRS agent. Um, What? That is apparently what Gordon said in no. chat as to something to draw. Draw Gordon, but with um, the the yeah. the Fed guy from um, you know Gordon, like Mister Gordon. Are you talking about <laughs> the G-Man from Half? Yeah, G-Man. Put his head on the crab body. Oh my god! Why do I feel like that's in Skibbity Toilet? Um, let's see. Oh, this one sounds interesting. The tortoise with a body shell, two deer heads. Shadow tribal tattoo arms. Six yeah, I've got legs. some pictures to show you because when when why are there all... so many fucking legs? Yeah, six right. chicken legs. We'll do we'll do that one to start because it sounds cursed enough, and I also just yeah, I, I feel yeah. like I need to draw it after reading six. Let me legs. um let me find the pictures that Rail sent me so you have an idea what the hell the the shadow oh, good. tribal there's, things. There's visual aids. You know what? I want to say something to that, but I'm not going to because I I'm think probably you and I just had the same joke. Is. I think you and I both had the same joke in mind. If I if I am thinking correctly, because I was going to say something too. But no, we're a Christian Minecraft server. We don't do that. Oh man, look at my life! But I'm trying to find who sent me the pictures. I can't find them. I don't know. I I've kind of missed out on the kaiju game. Well, that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna play one. I, we're gonna we're gonna do one. Oh no, that's fine. I'm I'm just saying in general, just more of like a statement because I'd like to play. I've just been doing shit like uh, commission work. Eat some big meaty claws. Let's see. What it? Had, had two deer heads. What the fuck? Yes, two deer so... heads attached at the jaw point, no lower jaw, antlers of... Oh, God! So, like, imagine two deer skulls, and instead of, like, having a deer skull with a lower skull, like, or a lower jaw, you just have, like, one of the other skulls be the lower jaw, if you get what oh, I mean. Oh, God. Uh, and they have the antlers and everything, so it's like two sets of antlers, one on the top half, one on the bottom half, and it's just like... Nye, 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 nye. I mean, I'm going to draw it, but it's going to be some, like, John Carpenter's The Thing type shit. I mean... It sounds like The Thing. Like, there's that whole scene in the movie where you get the husky and his face splits open. <laughs> yeah, like that. So, Wacker, how was your day? Yes, Wacker. 
tell us about your day. Oh, he's shy. My day was fucking on mute like a dumbass. So all of my brilliant repost to your commentary must have been mute. Um, they were. We thought you were just actually being a good boy. I I think I might be getting sick. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know that kind of yeah feeling that you got and you're kind of like tired and yeah a little bit sore like starting to get kind of sore and stuff like that so i think I'm you gonna... uh, check for carbon monoxide <laughs> just in case <laughs> i have a carbon monoxide detector it is fine. speaking of wit we really need to set up a a day for us to watch those earnest movies Oh yeah. Yeah man. I also want to watch them with my wife because she has the DVD collection. My way. My, my way. way. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking. It's like, what did you draw on street? You know, you know what's funny. Um, you know what's kind of funny. Oh, well, it's it's also kind of a bit wholesome. But uh, last so last weekend, I was at this store and. Who should but walk out but one of my teachers from high school who also ended up becoming like the principal. And we had like a nice conversation. She asked how my family was doing and everything. And, you know, told her I was doing good. She got to meet my wife my wife. My uh, wife. Yeah, but and I and I mentioned, you know, in the conversation, oh, you know, I'm still keeping up with drawing, still keeping up with the art and things. Cause I, you know, I used to doodle plenty of my books. But now I'm working on this thing and thinking about stream, and I'm like, I'm really glad I didn't go into too much detail about the kinds of things that I draw. I'm like a e grade celebrity on the internet, and I oh, draw like thought... full bullshit and Furbies <laughs> and torture people with it, and it's a great time. I'm a certified e thon on the internet. <laughs> Can I get a shirt that says that certified e thought? I mean, probably. We're we're hoping that Rail shows up to the meetup with uh, that shirt that says, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> you know, I kind of hope that when we see Rail, we all just start screaming, Shot at Roy! Shot at Roy! Or what is it? Shot From the Rockadoodle Doo? Shot at Shot at Freud? No. Shot at Freud. God damn it, I fucked it up. Yeah, he did. Chardonnay! Is... Chardonnay! That's his name. Chardonnay! Chardonnay! This is less of a kaiju and more of a cryptid, I'm just gonna say. I know. More of a cripple? It's not you, Wacker. <laughs> you, th you there sitting here depends. See, there's so many horrible things that I can say right now, but I don't want to be an asshole. <laughs> oh, like that, so that's the cutoff, huh? Okay. Look, I, at least with the Furby stuff, I'm creating the joke. Okay, that's the excuse you're going to try to use. At least I'm creating. I don't know if it's going to hold up in court, but yes. Spoilers, it's not. <sighs> Damn it. Man, shit. This does remind me of the. Do you think they should have ears or, like? Oh yeah, they do, more do like have gold. ears, don't they? They do, but you know. I can add ears. It's not too big a deal. I mean, it's fucking horrifying, but you know. Imagine carving this in a piece of wood or like stone or something and just leaving it for future archaeologists to find. Imagine, imagine carving this in a piece of wood and then sending it to one of those like uh, undiscovered tribes and just like dropping it from the sky. It's like this is, yeah, it just says this is real on it. <laughs> oh yeah, this God. thing is coming here. The gods must be crazy too. What? <laughs> gods are always crazy. They're not, they're not a fun god. You read like mythology and half the time it's just gods being dicks to people or okay. if it's like I don't know it's either that or it just gets really surreal bit of both sometimes so did 
little you know how like a horse in, in uh, Norse mythology. Yeah, there was a minotaur. Yeah, but uh, uh, Poseidon had a bit of, to do with that. Okay, but most. I was gonna say most of Greek mythology can just be summarized as, and Zeus yeah. was horny. Well, this one was like, uh, the king of Minos was supposed to like sacrifice his best bull to Poseidon, but he liked this one particular bull, so he he sacrificed, you know, the second best. And Poseidon didn't like this, so he said, "Ah, oh, you like your bull? Well, your wife likes your bull too." Oh, yep. Yeah. And then shenanigans happens, and you know. Why do I feel like those shenanigans would get you uh, protested by PETA? Actually, never mind. I'm thinking of that South Park episode. They they probably be all. For They'd that. probably be down for what happens. Probably be down with the sickness. Yes, it has a crocodile tail. That that's that's like the the most basic body part of it. It has a crocodile tail. I mean. I could at least draw that without too much trouble. I'm still trying oh, to think yeah. about how I'm going to do the six chicken legs. Oh yeah. yeah, for anyone tuning in, this thing has six chicken legs. Well, you can always take it at... Remember, you have artistic license, so like you can make legs <laughs> I have artistic shape. license, no. Like just a just a mass, a mass of like bird-like oh, or legs. I'll, I'll do it. I just It's more of just like... It's, it's one of those moments where you like say something and you're like, now how the fuck am I going to actually do that? So I gotta like think about it for a sec. One of them, the other one has like six lion legs. Yeah, I mean I can make the chicken wings work for this. Also, oh, wait, no, that's Godzilla I'm thinking of. See, ideally I should be doing references, using reference when I'm doing this, but I'm also shit posting and flying by the seat. You're of my drawing pants. a hut bread with a tapeworm. <laughs> Well, I did set a hut on fire with a flamethrower in our Star Wars game, so... Good. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of uh, roleplay games, I got yeah. to play the Rail Wizard in uh, Super Florence last night. Oh, hell yeah. So that's why you wanted the picture. Yes, I sent it to everybody involved. Uh, Lichter loved it. Marvelous. And Psyduck loved it. Marvelous. So... I pretty much just, with the point buy, I pretty much almost gave... The only points that weren't pumped up was, like, Wisdom and Charisma. So he was an act he was a wizard that could actually, like, physically harm you. We were being attacked by spiders, and the first thing he did was take his, uh... Railroad Crossing staff and just, like, whack the spider with it. He's like, no, bad! Well... They were meeting up in um, one of the characters' uh, restaurant, and the train that I was in charge of crashed through the wall to make a delivery. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, the guy I was supposed to deliver to was there, in fact. So, did he get the delivery? Uh, well, I don't know, cause like I think like somebody made bad manifest decisions. Oh. <laughs> cause like I like the. You know how they'll, like, usually leave you, like, a picture of, like, where they dropped your package? It's just, like, a picture of you taking a selfie in front of the train crash through the wall. Well, you know, I didn't really ask what was supposed to be delivered, but when when spiders start breaking out of the boxes, I know that somebody didn't put the proper boxing for the spiders oh because live animals need to be put in cages or in boxes with holes so that they can breathe. And since that didn't happen, somebody wasn't doing their job, and that that's what I'm upset about. Life is hard. Yeah. Tickets, please! Life is a highway. I want to ride it all night long. No, life is a rail! Life. It's bigger than you. And you are not me. The lengths that I will go to. The distance in your eyes. Oh, yeah. Um. So, you know how, like, we have our our kind of our current pantheon pantheon with like it could be dc or fan or marvel but with dc you have like superman and batman and wonder like woman DC and... these nuts. ha ha ha, ha. But yeah you, you get what i mean right <laughs> wow that was so condes that was like such a condescending lap yeah i know what you get, I get, what you get. <laughs> i'm just being a dick i got you <laughs> 
Look, I, I hang around Whacker a bit, so you, you gotta... Ah, uh, yes, the asshole doesn't fall far from the I have to, I've had to set up the, I've had to set up the fences, okay? Sons of bitches. Love you too, Whacker. Okay, what I'm getting basically at is, what if, Just like... wait till the... I send you a Christmas card now. <laughs> What if, like, the Greek gods were just, like, their equivalent to, like, comic book heroes, and then just a few other people just took it too serious and made actual temples out of them and shit like that? So there's, like, a temple to Batman? Yeah, but it's Hades. Uh, that would be interesting. Um, like, hey, man, let's, like, make up these stories about these super beings that control everything. They're like, yeah, man, they, like, write stories and stuff, and they make plays. And then some people get too much into it, you know, they, like, they build, like, comic book shops, but, like, you know, they look like temples and such, and we get it all wrong. It's, like, comic book guy in a druid robe from The Simpsons. This is... Absolutely fried. So we really needed to add some distinguishing features to this because they look like fingers. I'm back. Sorry. Is this where chicken fingers come from? I didn't even know you left. Yeah, my, my it's going on and off because of the storm. Ah. Uh, hey the there, man. It's going what? on and off just because... You know, instead of feathers, it could be, like, scales. Yeah, man. Uh, could be, yeah. It's I, or, I, See, my issue right now is not so much, like, where, or, like, the feathers and stuff. It's, like, how the fuck do I draw six legs at once? Well, you know, the thing, the thing about this game is, like, when you're drawing the monsters, it is... It's kind of an exercise of like, okay, I didn't expect this. How the hell am I going to do it? it? Yeah, I mean, I will say it's a uh, it's an interesting uh, creative exercise for stuff like this. It actually, um, I have on my shelf a book that I picked up years ago called Fantasy Genesis. And it's a game with all these charts included where you roll certain dice depending on the chart and you basically get a word list together of prompts of things to draw. And it's really interesting, and you know what? I might have to do that for one of these streams one of these days. You know, I, I got a card game. I gotta go look at it. It's like a tabletop card game that, like, it's like a adventure generation thing with cards. And I bought it, and I wanted to, like, play it with myself, but I haven't opened it yet. It's like, uh, Spore Pictionary Edition, lol. Ugh. I used to like playing Spore. I was so excited for that game when it came when they promised yeah. adventures, and it was definitely not as good as it was advertised it was going to be. But I had fun playing it. Well, that, that apparently I definitely that made a bunch was... of aliens. I didn't really make penis monsters. That was my friend that played it. But you could do a lot with it. People still do a lot with it today. You know. Oh yeah. When you yeah. when you get rid of like the limiter that makes it where you can only put so many pieces or or such details, like people make some insane shit. Like oh yeah, I've seen like some really detailed shit people have made. And that, that, yeah. that limiter was always kind of annoying when you got to certain parts of the game, like when you're building like spaceships, for example. Because none of the stuff is stuff you have to unlock. It's just cosmetic shit. You know, I can understand oh, yeah. it for the, the parts of the game where it matters, but. Oh yeah. Well, well you know, you can only you can only get your certain powers so high. Like, if you had three low level wings, you still only had like level one flight. Yeah. Which that I don't is know. true. I mean, it was like several games in one because it had basic like it had the creature creator, it had like several levels of yeah. RTS, you know, and the space exploration. I mean, that was the thing. Like, it had all these good little bits, but they didn't really gel well together, and each on their own was kind of not super good. I think if they make a Spore 2, what they should do is, like, they should start out with, like, the creature, like, evolutionary one that's just, like, up from, you know, from bacteria to water to evolution to the point where you gain sentience. And... Yeah. 
they make like other games that can use the like physical ass, ass the bleh, the physical assets of your creature and put that into the other games that you buy like maybe you only want to use the creature creator or maybe you want to do the creature creator and the uh like the the sieve like spore civilization so you you can buy the dlc for the civilization part and it'll like import your creature into as the little like the little guys at the bottom you know so this thing's gonna have like smoke arms they're supposed to look like travel tattoos like i i, I wish i could yeah, find I'm not doing who, that i'm who, not doing that shit i'm sorry but no I, 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 first of all, I envision smoke alarm. Second of all, if we get into tattoo designs, it's going to be more elaborate than I want to get for just a doodle. I got you. OCD brain. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that's not even like a oh, here we go. Here we like go. I found statement. <laughs> They're in the... Uh, oh, God damn it, cat. Eh. I wish my cat would sit with me and my computer. She just sits in my wife's lap all the time. Yeah, and your wife comes in and dumps and dumps her on you all the time. Well, she doesn't stay in my lap. Is the thing like she'll she likes chill on the couch. Like I can sit on the couch and pet her all day long, but if I try to bring her to my computer, she just bolts. Let's see. Yes, cat. Oh, that's what you mean by tribal tattoo arms. I was expecting something a lot more elaborate, so... Oh, wait, I have that on its own leg, don't I? No, I, not that one. Fuck. See, when you say tribal tattoo arms, I was thinking something way harder than that. This is what Rail said when he came up with the idea. It's not my fault. There's another one with like. Um, I'm just kind of, kind of do something similar to this, best I can. Kind of just like some skeleton man arms. Yeah. Like two D skeletal arms. That'd be trippy as fuck. See, that's the thing, like, about a lot of horror is I think there's a lot of missing out because everyone likes to go for the scary looking stuff and everything but when you get into like the surreal shit that's what really can be s scary because it's stuff that your brain can't process wasn't that like you know Lovecraftian I mean? horror like I can't process uh, what I'm seeing kinda it's, I mean yeah I guess well cosmic horror is kind of uh the, the thing about that is, with with cosmic horror, it's very much like things about the universe you aren't meant to know, uh, that you suddenly know. It'd that, like, yeah. Like, 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 imagine, being, like imagine being a, uh, an ant on, like, a circuit board, and you see everything and you don't understand it, but then all of a sudden it just suddenly makes sense for, like, a second. Oh, yeah. And like, an I, like, I imagine, like, a, a bug, like a beetle that goes into yeah. a grocery store and it's just like at night when no one's around you just see like nothing but flat terrain for miles and miles and miles and like these towering things just as high as you can see it's like you can't see the sky but the shit's so high it might as well be the sky yeah. and then you see these like lumbering titanic creatures just going about their day yeah which one do you describe that sounds like something else but uh what what i what i'm saying when i say like surreal stuff it's like um you guys familiar with like for example what freddy freaker is no yeah that's that that was that weird yellow thing right like yeah freddy yeah Freaker's. hold on i I'm, I'm gonna find a picture quick to drop in chat because i feel like it and i'm trying to make a point here so, 
Let me see here. Let me find a good picture. Oh, ah! Hey, Freddy Freakor. I'm sure whatever sound this creature makes, an elk, like the elk sound would definitely be in there. Like that high pitch. Oh, like, definitely that. Yeah, no, that elk like sound. Like that whistle sound. That, like that, yeah. that whistle. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. That's oh, for the yeah. So, imagine... It, it, like, it, it's funny as like a puppet or something. But imagine, you know, being somewhere in the woods at night. And then just suddenly you see that. And it looks like a living thing. Oh yeah, like just shit like that, where it's uh, it's it's just things that it's like, this should not be uh, something that should be doing this, but it is. You it's know? probably the same feeling we get whenever we find something deep in the ocean that's bigger than oh, like yeah. a person, like that weird crab yeah. squid that was like by the uh, like just floating around one of the oil rigs. Yeah, which also you know. I can definitely see how there's there, there's definitely some ties to Cosmic Car there. I guess it depends on the thing, but you know, it's like any sort of subject matter. There's crossover with all sorts of shit. Yeah, man. Kind of makes me think of the Nowhere King. The Nowhere King? What is that from? Um, Centaur World. There's this, what? like, there's this elk that's made, like, a shadow elk lich that consumes stuff and is evil. I know I'm doing like, it bad. Um, it sounds like something from the audio. Story podcast series Old Gods of Appalachia or Appalachia. I don't know if you guys have heard of that or not. It's, uh, I, I thought it was really interesting. I should oh, yeah. get back into listening to it, but I'd love there was to a lot of really interesting stuff in there. You uh, know, one day I wouldn't mind us doing one of those, like, uh, like streaming us watching that scary stuff, like, um, uh, new top five. Uh, oh, you oh you want us to have a stream where we're watching Shield's top ten? Basically, right. yeah. Number fifteen, oh. Burger King foot lettuce. Crispy, I finally realized what your thing reminds me of, and this is kind of obscure. There was oh, a, that's pretty wild. There's a game on PlayStation Portable called Jean d'Arc, which was basically an anime esque like retelling of the story of Joan of Arc. Okay. In a real high fantasy world with magic and stuff like that. It was it was a good game. I enjoyed it. But oh. this critter you're drawing very, very much gives me like monster vibes from Oh that. god. Red. Crispy. What? The not deer. The not deer? Oh god, you don't know about the not deer? No. Um Okay, you know the concept of um, Uncanny Valley? Yeah. So imagine you're out in the wood and you see a deer, but... You see it and you think it's a deer, but every cell in your body is saying, that's not a deer. Ah. Uh. Like, deers don't have sunken black eyes and human teeth. Or something. There's like something off about it. And it sometimes they like get on their hind legs and then laugh at you and then walk off. Okay, I feel like I've heard of that a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. I think you're your typical uh, flesh gaunt. Uh, Shape-shifting, mischievous creatures that, like, contort their flesh to look like something and then come up near you and then scare the shit out of you and they feed off of the fear and then they run off. Uh huh. Your face is... Yes, it is. Thank you, Wacker. My face is my pork chop. Verify me. I do like pork chops. Actually, I was thinking of making stir fry involving pork this weekend. Ooh. I I like making stir fry. Um, we have a really nice wok that I use, but I've never done one with pork, so it would be an interesting, different thing. 
God damn it, Gordon, we can't talk about those things. You'll summon them. Tricking those is the fun, dude. Don't worry about it. Um, Rail could probably do a better job of explaining to you what the uh, the Nowhere King is. Why do I feel like that's some SCP shit? Kind of. When you crown King nothing. Oh, is it? Are we getting a Metallica now? Yeah, man. That, or you could just type it in YouTube and like spend like four or five hours watching videos explaining it. I I will say this much. Uh, Credit to Stranger Things, it gave me a new appreciation for Master of Puppets. I haven't watched that series. Maybe I should. I would I would suggest it. It's it's pretty good. I have not watched or consumed modern media like yeah. I haven't watched um You know, I haven't watched a lot of like um Rick and Morty or I don't uh, think you need to watch Rick and Morty. What's that show? Uh, the, the one, of, the fantasy one by the guy that's not going to ever finish it because he's doing other things now. Uh, Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones, yeah. I didn't watch that show. Game of Thrones. And I uh, feel sad dude. that I don't because I, I don't, like, like, I don't have an understanding of the, the current, like, nerddom. It doesn't, you don't it need that to watch it Game of Thrones. The thing about Game of Thrones that really sucks is they sh they stopped at season six and they didn't make anything after that. Uh, I would say the thing that sucks about Game of Thrones, I mean that is part of it, but the the, the big thing about that isn't so much that they stopped there. The, the thing is they built up to all these things, they stopped there, and then they crammed ten pounds of shit in a two pound bag. Well, so apparently Weiss and Benhoff, uh, because they fucked up season seven like moderately bad it wasn't terrible but it wasn't i good. and then okay. season eight was just a goddamn dumpster fire apparently yeah. because Ooh. they they got the nod to do the disney movies and they're like okay fuck this let's hurry up and finish this i and love that when color disney, when disney saw yeah. what they did with it they basically said no nope, fuck you if that's what you're gonna do you're not doing this so they lost oh it. so they gave him the finger because oh, i was like that's how you're gonna treat a, a product you're working on fuck off yeah and now they're Good. basically kind of reviled across the uh, industry because of like how like think about it game of thrones was all we talked about you know it, 10 years game ago. of thrones was huge it was and I, and fucking like, I, huge yeah, and, and I, I didn't really watch the whole series, but I saw enough of it where I'm like, I can understand it, and I got into it, you know? Oh, and, and I all my friends and everybody was talking about and all this stuff, and now nobody talks. Nope, about it. nobody. Nobody, because they, they just completely dropped the ball. They with completely season. fucked that up so bad. They crammed so much stuff in there. They, they just fucked up things like, you know, having the biggest battle that's supposed to be like the crux of the series be so dark that you can't see it on a fucking TV. Is that Storm? Hi, Storm. Storm, join us in la lamenting how fucking horrible uh, Game of Thrones ended. No, he's gone mute. Stormy Storm, you're on mute. He's gone smell blind. Storm. Ah, it's Storm Song. Storm. Storm. Oh, no, he's running into the same problems I did when I tried to come in here and yell at you. Ah! Uh -oh. Storm. I hear voices. Restart your uh, client, Storm. I'm gonna get more dedicated wham. Uh, well, I wonder, could you make it where the turtle shell is like? Uh, oh, that's right. It had plants coming out of it too. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, like, that's fine. We. I would say like make it where the the, the 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 neck is like coming out of a hole from the shell. I mean, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. It just probably yeah. doesn't read as well. You know, I, maybe I should shut the fuck up and not backseat draw. How about that? Love you too, Andy. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm not getting onto you. I'm getting onto me. I'm like, hey, why don't you shut up and let the man do his thing? You're fine, dude. You're fine. I, I don't mind some feedback. How about we? Again, as long as it's helpful. How about not, we... not whacker yelling at me because I'm drawing furbies. Yeah, whacker. Why do you have to come in and ruin everyone's fun like that? Hello. Uh, hello. 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 Hello, Storm. We're... 
Storm, it's not much better. Storm, look at what you did. Uh, I can barely look at anything. I'm on my phone because of the oh. fucking internet won't work. Oh. Why, is, why is your internet company so bad at their job? Because there are now two internet companies, and one of them intentionally fucked the other one up. Oh, that's what you want. That's what you absolutely want when you're trying to deal with companies. Is if, for once it's, if for once it's not Comcast that I'm going to have to blame for this one. That's surprising, <laughs> considering it's Comcast. Yeah. I know, that's what I mean. Yeah. Com anyway, Comcast. sorry, Chad, I can't see all y'all. That's alright. You're good, man. I'm just glad you can make it, given the circumstances of your internet's fuckiness. Yeah. Also, Crispy, that thing you sent me is horrific. Which one? You know which one. I actually need to look again, so I can double check. You send me something it... awful. Here, I'm sending it to Wacker right now. I don't even remember what I fucking... Oh, wait, was it the tablecloth? No, it was after that. I don't remember. See? <laughs> Take a look, Wacker. You can see now, right? No. Do you see? I have nothing from you. Wacker, how can you not see? How can you not see? It's the most awful thing ever. Uh, the last thing, the, the last thing I have from Storm is where we're going. We don't need thighs. Uh, okay, yeah, I that wish that would have been an event horizon. There's nowhere where you can go where you don't need thighs. I don't understand. He's just like crushing a watermelon on, in the bridge seat while he's yeah, sitting in between. What his you thighs. need your thighs to do that? Yeah, crispy. If you don't get rid of this abomination, I'm gonna do to you what the god did to the sodomites. I don't even look. I'm looking in our chat, I don't even see it. Crispy, you know what you did. No, I don't. You know what you did. I d is it the thing that Spar just sent me? Or, this is one legitimate. <laughs> this is one legitimate situation where a dumbass can claim dumbassery is. A I think the call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Crispy, if you don't atone for your sins. I'm going to buy a white rubber bodysuit, paint your real legal name all over it, find a kitten, go into town and beat it with a rubber hose while declaring this is art. What? What the fuck? I... I First mean, of all... <laughs> I mean, First of all, that's a lot of effort. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, I, I like mean, kittens. I mean... Look. Cookie Monster, Cookie Mama, this is one of our um, kaiju creations. Yeah, I and... was I was given this prompt by uh, my lovely co-host here. And uh, the yeah. head is uh, Storms. Yeah, Storm has a habit of giving really like cursed things. I'm the... thinking of just making the head automatically to Storm because it's just. Oh no, that's it's fine. become that's a fine. theme. <laughs> also, Crispy, I can if you can't remember, I can tell you what you sent me. Yeah, what did I send you? You, you sent me nothing. And that's what's so horrible. I mean, I can, I can send you some horrible shit. Let me look through my folders later. <laughs> Anyways, that, now that I'm done putting that at it, how are all of you? You're fucking gaslighting me into thinking I did something horrible, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Storm, you are naughty. And also... I am feeling increasingly sick, so I'm probably gonna bow out in a yeah, little bit. That's fine, yeah. man. If you're not feeling good, no, help you feel better. Still, I'm still, I'm still conscious enough. It's but, morning yeah. sickness. <laughs> it's not mine. Yeah, it is. Fuck. I'd have, up. I'd have Wacker's morning sickness too if I had to give birth to the concept of knowing you all. <laughs> wow. Wow. Andy. Wow. <laughs> Fucking flicking your email hey, there over there. Like, you don't get me, Dad. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, this is horrifying. Well, right. thank, thank you for joining us, Wacker, and me gaslighting uh, Crispy. <laughs> Lol. I mean, I apologize. gaslighting Crispy is a good time, you know? See... I'm not apologizing for Furbies. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not. 
This is why. It's because you're a horrible person. Oh, I'm not a horrible person. I love you Red Crispy. Now, Crispy, uh, last, last night in for Hell of the Cars thing, uh, we built my wrestler, and we realized there's the option of putting a beak on the wrestler. You know what we yes. must do. Yes, I will absolutely help you build a wrestler, yes. It, it will be the Crispy wrestler. It must be done. Actually, uh, Crispy, you remember the Ox Avenger, right? Uh, I don't. Refresh my memory. Um, it was the, uh, WWE, uh, like, 23. That we made, we made, like, uh, the wrestler, and we named him the Ox Avenger, and, like... I need to see a picture of that. He has, like, I, white I powder like... on his mouth, because he... <laughs> Why that's do what I you feel wanted? like I was really drunk that night when we made <laughs> Look... Look. Oh, so now you get to say it, but I don't. Yeah, because I don't abuse the shit out of it as an attempt to try to reverse and get out of the God. horrible things that I've just... You always do this. It. You're just like your father. Man. Lol. Shit. Now, Crispy has been wanting to make a kaiju for a while, and while we have enough people here, I would be wondering... Yeah. Before, you know, most of you have to leave for various reasons, if you guys would be up for creating a kaiju. Let's do it. Why, yeah. Okie dokie. Um, I'll go ahead and let Crispy go first. Pick right. a number between uh, one and six. T9. Uh, no. Um, seven. Oh, wait, no, you said six. Fuck. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Christy. I, I can understand why your teacher probably avoided you at the store when you were there together. The <laughs> that guy Shut that can't the read up. the instructions. I was never one for following instructions. Ask my parents. I, uh, I, I'm gonna say, I can I'm gonna say, for this. I met his parents. And, uh, yeah. Man. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with three. I'm gonna do three. All right. That's, that's All right. Um, so, so, what kind of arms does the kaiju have? Mm. Hmm. Let me think here. Um. Sorry. I'm. Um, I'm gonna go with octopus tentacles. Okay. Fucking course you are. Look, I've seen it enough to know where it's going, alright? Uh, you think that's bad? <laughs> you know what else is bad? These prices! When I went and went, don't take my bit. When I went and fuck off. <laughs> Shit, my am wet, wet, die. God, this thing is horrific. I love it. Okay. Uh, uh, any particular number, or do you think it just have like two cartoonish octopus arms? Um, I'm gonna say like three on each side. I think three on each side is probably a good balance. So it's a hectopus. Oh wait, no, I guess it would be four on each side then, yeah. No, no, that's fine. A hectopus would be six arms. Yeah, it's not an octopus. It's a hectopus. Hectopupa do. Yeah. So you want six or eight? Uh, let's do eight. Hectopus sounds like a really low... Hectopus <laughs> sounds like a low-quality James Bond villainous. It also sounds like a really, really shitty porno actor. You know, it's both. That's I mean, it was the seventies. Coke. Oh wait, no, cocaine was the eighties. Uh, yeah. All right. Hey. Economic depression. No. Whacker. Um, go ahead and pick a number between one and five. A one. All right, you get the body. What kind of body does this kaiju? You're of the body. Um, 
Does it have to be an animal? No. Oh shit, I should have done robot parts. Fuck. You can do that. You'll you'll get another turn. That's fine. Actually, if you want, you want to make it like steel. No, let's keep, let's keep the octopus arms because we can make it even weirder. Okay. Andy. Yes. Do you know what pitcher plants are? Yes. I want a pitcher plant for the body. You want the body to be a picture, a giant pitcher plant. Any particular pitcher. species of pitcher plant? Pitcher, like. A pitcher of liquid, not picture. Pitcher. Oh. Pitcher. Yes. They are carnivorous I mean, plants that eat I, insects. I, I know. I'm. I, that's just me being like. I'm not. I'm not saying that to be funny or silly. That's me actually saying it wrong. Oh, it's you being a southern dumbass guy. Yes. You know, literally. Rail. I should not be surprised that the the arms for this were inspired by a JRPG game. So, Andy, I'll, let me find you a picture. A, pic, a also, picture. Andy, is so I, I, I know what a picture plant is. We had them in. Yeah, I know. You the, had, you had the like, on the property. Well, I know what picture plants look like. Yeah, I, I, there's one that I had in mind. Let me. Oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. Find it. While we're doing that, uh, Storm, just go ahead and pick ahead. Not even going to make it roll. Oh, God. I'm scared. Or maybe we should let that be last, if you want it. Yeah, so uh, give me another number to pick, because I feel All like right. the head's the cap. The head is sometimes literally the capstone. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, with, with you, absolutely. Um, One, two, or three? Uh, Three. All right, the special feature on this creature, like you know, uh, something. So this is a tentacled, a tentacled pitcher plant, right? So far. Okay. So the special feature. A what? You said the special feature, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, special feature. Uh, yeah. Uh, it has... The, uh... The fractured and twisted remains of a dozen pagodas coming out of the body Storm, of the pitcher plant. Storm, what the fuck, plant. man? <laughs> pagodas? Why is your shit interpretive LSD all the time when it comes to this shit? Because Storm <laughs> goes hard. Whatever <laughs> Storm does, Storm goes hard. Because every night before he goes to bed, he reads from Revelation. I was, I was, I was coming up with stuff for this. Like, okay, yeah, this will be good to draw. And then Storm's just like a thousand pagodas in an abstract geometric form. We're like, god damn it! How the fuck am I supposed to draw that shit? <laughs> So, Aww. but Pagoda's broken across its body, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as I why do bar why do artists burn out? See this I, fucking conversation. <laughs> I I am supping upon the delicious tears of anguish and rage of Crispy. Of course you it are. Is it is the nectar of the gods. You fucking dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, crispy. Uh, <laughs> you could like flip a. You could flip a coin, or just you know say one or two. Pagodas. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a number between one and two. No, I'm asking what I'm saying one and two for. Uh, it's your turn. It's like the next feature. Oh, we'll, we'll go with two. All right, the tail. Uh, the tail. I want the tail to be... Um, let me think. Can we make right. the tail a platypus tail? Right now. Yep. Right now, Crispy's wife is hearing the sound of grinding gears. I'll have you know that I am a very 
thought deep person. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, man. Me, me think, me think goodly. Yeah. Me think deeply. <laughs> All right, Whacker, what kind of legs does this thing have? Oh god, that that is a badass uh, picture plant. Cookie, I have some questions about what version of Horton Here's a Who that you read that you're imagining that, but uh, I dig it. Hang on, I need to figure out what these things are called. That's fine. The, the, the uh, term you're looking for is syphilis. But yes, everyone at home, if you're pretty much listening to how this goes, uh, you get about like two or three people together, and you have someone kind of like as the uh, referee or someone, and you randomize the numbers according to the bodies, and, you know, associate that, and that's how it's and done. Then, and then Storm says some words, and it's like a passage from the book of revelations <laughs> that's not even like hyperbole go read the book of revelations shit gets weird oh don't <laughs> you'll get nightmares I'm just I, I think I would more get like insomnia trying to process in my head what the hell it is that the things that they're describing are in that are because it's just it's weird shit yeah. Okay, so what were the legs described as? Uh, we're waiting on Whacker. I'm trying to oh, figure okay. out what the hell this thing is called. <laughs> the clitoris. Do you have I'm, a picture I, you can send me? I'm I'm trying to find it. I need to figure out what it's called first. It's it's this. What is it? What is it? Describe it to me. No, I'm not going to describe. Describe it, it to me, child. No. Well, I mean, like, what is it the legs of? Like, if it's legs, like... I That's what I'm trying to find out. I don't know if it's an insect or if it's a... I gotta find a picture of this thing. That's fine. That's fine. It's an incel. No. Because after you... Yeah, after it's you, a crispy... <laughs> uh, I, I can guarantee you that I am not an incel. Your insolence is profound. I mean, I'm insolent. I'll guarantee that, but... No, Beat that uh, peasant for his insulin. The <laughs> I can't wait to hear that song when you make it, Storm. Horton Hears a Who? I Horton don't know why who. you're getting a Horton Hears a Who vibe from the... That's what I was saying. Like, from the plant monster. I, like, I've seen... Dr. Seuss drew some, some interesting stuff, but I don't know if he ever got into, like, nightmare kaiju territory. Um, Maybe he did. Someone does, um, someone does Lovecraft stories, but in the art style of Doctor Who, or not Doctor Who, Doctor Seuss. Of Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor Who. Actually, I think I've seen uh, art someone's done of something similar to that, eh, Andy. Oh yeah. I've definitely seen like Tintin, and it's like Tintin in the Shadow over Innsmouth and shit. Things. These Guy on Broadway says, See, I am wondering what the effect of this creature's shell would be if it was a weapon on Mario Kart. Well, it is purple. Oh, God. Um, I think if the shell hit you, it would knock you into the, divent the dimension that Event Horizon takes place in. Where we're going, we oh. don't need flies. I <laughs> would say stubby caterpillar legs. It's called a velvet worm. Okay, uh. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I mean, they're five. sort of caterpillar. They're sort of caterpillar like, but they're even a little bit more cursed. So, yeah. Alright, um. Legs. Just. Ooh, that gives me an idea. I forgot about this. So, watch, watch, watch this shit. I'm gonna fuck it. No, we're not gonna watch this. We're. we're... What is it called? A velvet worm? Listen here, yeah. you fucking... I sent you the link. Click the link. I know, I know, I know.
All right, I put legs like a velvet worm, but I put an annotation, lots of stubby fat caterpillar legs. Oh. All right. Oh, um, shit, I forgot to color the teeth. So, literally, the cream... The creme out of the creme, the cap on this thing, goes to storm the head. Oh, no. Are you hard? Shy head <laughs> mm, Shy -lude. Like a giant sandworm comes out of, like, the gaping mall of the, uh, the picture plant. And you hear the soundtrack from, uh, David Lynch's version. <laughs> See, you know what the thing uh, is? I can't, I can't look at the David Lynch Dune without thinking of Twin Peaks these nowadays because of like Kyle MacLachlan being in it, and then uh, the guy that plays. Uh, who is it? Hey, good news, guys! My internet's yeah. working again. Yeah. Right. I will answer your question in just a moment, Andy, while I get my headphones set up so the audience doesn't hear me backfeed. Oh, Stilgar! Stilgar is played by one of the people from Twin Peaks as well. Faces God, people from Twin imagine going out in the middle of the night and seeing this fucking thing. And it's like digging through your trash looking for lottery tickets. That's like... <laughs> it's like, fuck off, I want the Powerball, go away. I want the Powerball! Yeah, it's exactly like that. Holy Man, shit. Bro. <laughs> I want you to call people in the middle of the night with that voice. And say, yeah, just, <laughs> just, just look at this, like... You know, if you do a background, do it like, a, like, at night, so it's like really dark and purple, but you kind of see like a light. Oh yeah, are you gonna put like little, like, oh wait, shit, little reflections? There we go. Oh okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. the head. Yes. Is much like. The body of a snake, which is to say, an elongated neck with the head I'm on the end. I'm already mad. I'm already mad. With the head on the I end. This is gonna be some like book of revelations type shit. But, but, shut up, but, 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 but every segment of its neck is ringed in faces that are perpetually screaming and crying blood. Okay. This just goes to show that the people that wrote the Book of Revelations didn't care about artists, because they made the most difficult shit. They're just like, God, I'm going to have to find so many references now. No. Actually, you, you can blame Berserk for that one. Okay, also, first of all, Chris Okay, Bean. then I can't say anything about the artist, because the art of Berserk is pretty good, so... Crispy, you know, after the shit that Michelangelo went through, I don't think anybody of the church liked artists. <laughs> you know they, they, like they didn't you like art. a very good point with that. Yeah, because Michelangelo got dealt a shit hand. Because, yeah, I think he don't got his up. back though with the fresco. I think he got his his come up. Well, back. that's the thing. You don't piss off an artist that you've commissioned because then they're just gonna shit post on you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Right. This fresco will last forever. Uh, I'm gonna go over here now. Like, All right. I can now see chat. Yay. 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 <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, like, yeah. Snakehead covered in the screaming face from the behelots. Oh my god. At some point, I'm just going to stun the shit out of you by suggesting something completely normal. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a giraffe. My it other, uh, my other, uh, <laughs> giraffe. Um, my other favorite possibility is the one of the normal heads that was taken from the, one of the other creatures before they had to get a weird head. It's like handsome Squidward. Hello. 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 So, like, You're all I heard for... was, all I heard was. My next suggestion would be, and I didn't hear anything for a while. I'm like, is this a setup or is this the joke? And I'm like, oh, wait. Your I, just died? Yeah. No, I was saying the next thing I suggest is just going to be completely normal. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think we ever came up with a name for this thing, but I'm just going to call it Gary. 
Uh, you could call it Gary, but I'd like it like the official horror name of it. Like the um, the one is like the record. The, the 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 first one is the wreck of you horror. The other one is the uh, the cursed lore keeper. What was the what what was the other name for it? Was that our third one? This is the third one. There, was there a name for that one? The third one, I just put I just put uh, tor cur or core torst, like cursed and tortoise. It was supposed to be like cursed toys. Yeah, cursed toys was its name. Core toys. That sounds like a bullshit. Pokemans. The core toys will find you if you're not. No oh, shit, Wacker. Wacker. They're kaiju. Wacker, I have some bad news if you're a fan of Pokemon. No. They, they took a lot from mythology. No, I. No. The backwoods behemoth. Fifty shades of Jerry the eternal tormented deer. The New Orleans Nephilim. <laughs> now in New Orleans Nephil oh, oh god if I was in Bourbon Street and I saw this thing I'd be questioning my drinking decisions the Bourbon Street I mean I questioned your drinking decisions that's cause yeah. you don't like IPAs you piece of shit yeah it's cause they're fucking hot garbage hey you had some on vacation I thought sake was hot warm garbage no sake is actually I've never had it. So, you're supposed to drink it, um, actually good sake is best when it's cold. And the reason people warm it up is generally to cover up, uh, poor quality sake and it also gets you drunk faster. But real good sake you drink cold. Yeah. Nice. Nose. So Gary, the... Gary from accounting, yeah. <laughs> Gary the Backwoods Barba Met. Bailey old. Bayhem up. Basil Alright, so the new kaiju in our um in the auxiliary verse kaiju booby series. The fourth kaiju, uh is the keeper. Uh, yeah. Oh, I was going to suggest one unless you have one already. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He that walks beneath dreams. Well, dreams? Yes. Okay. Are you he that walks the beneath dreams. Children of the Corn. <laughs> no, I'm referencing. Uh, well, maybe it was a reference to it. There's an SCP called the Victory Society that itself makes a lot of references, so I wouldn't be surprised if that one was a reference to. Right. But just to, uh, I've got it written down and I'll save it and I'll send it to uh, Crispy. It's got the body of a pitcher plant. I'll have to show you the particular pitcher plant. It's like it's pretty badass looking. It's kind of looks like a kaiju. Uh, it's got it travels with like dozens of stumpy fat caterpillar legs. What the f Dragging fuck? itself along. Dragging behind its body is its platypus tail. That's you, Crispy. <laughs> uh, its body has broken pagodas and trapped in it. I guess it walked through a few of them and, like, they never came off or whatever. Yeah, it walked through a, uh... Never mind. It was a temple given to the dreams of men that took life and became angry. Orm, can you just talk without excessive drama for like five Storm, seconds. Storm, go drink some water. I am. Okay, um... Go drink <laughs> some filtered water. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. Uh, a lot of times, the particulates that are uh, in your urine from your medications are too dissolved to be filtered out of the water, so uh, people are drinking each other's medicine. Yep, yeah, I heard Delicious. about that. Anyway, uh, it also has, like, you know, big, you know, eight octopus-like arms, and it has a giant serpentine-like head coming out of its gaping, like, plant right. maw that's like a it's snake, gaper. but it's got, like, crying orifices on it. It's gaper? Well, yeah. this is horrifying. Uh, this one would pretty much be a plant monster. We got, we got several plant monsters. We got... 
the original so, one I imagine is made of wood. We got this yeah. one that's got like plant coming off it, and the other one that's pretty much a giant like biolante looking motherfucker. So a bit of an interrupt, but I'm pretty much done with the uh, our friend here. Sure, mm, our friend yes. here. Yeah. Could you could you make it look like there's a light behind it, like somebody's car or a flashlight is behind it? And it's like, what the fuck is that? I feel like it'd be more in front because I've seen enough horror movies to know how that yeah, shit sure. is. Oh yeah, like they shine the light on. Like, what the fuck is that? Of course, this is a kaiju, so it's not like... It's not small, no. It's, yeah, it's, the, the light it's would be rather, coming from below. Rather lorg. You'd be surprised how big the bayou is, boy. There's some big old creatures out there. Oh, I don't want to go down that road, now. Nah. That's where Jeffrey lives. Jeffrey. Sometimes, sometimes dead is dead better. Oh wait, no. If this is New Orleans, if we're gonna say this is New Orleans base, it's it's the Rougarou. Oh, okay. Jeff the Rougarou. Rougarouder. <laughs> you know what the Rougarou is, right, uh, Crispy? No, I don't. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's a lot of descriptions. Some people say it's like the uh, the Bayou's. Uh, uh, Chupacabra. I've heard that it looks like uh, a gorilla and a alligator combined. Wild. But that's just one description. There's several. Some say it's just a it's just another Bigfoot. I think I've heard that it's a Bigfoot with three clawed toes. Hmm. The Chupacabra has evolved a lot. Like. It looked like a little lizard imp with wings. Well, and... here's the thing, though. Which chupacabra? Because there's multiple. There's the, the there's the Texas one. There's the Mexican one, and there's the yeah. Puerto Rican chupacabra. Well, the one I could I'm thinking of is the Puerto Rican one, the original one, because everybody's like sheeps and shit were like dying. Yeah. And it yeah. like moved along, and then they, there's that one video from Texas where the sheriff was like, "What the hell is that?" And I'm oh, like. Isn't that a coyote with mange? Public service announcement, everyone. Chupacabra means goat sucker. Do not DM yeah. goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, all right. You guys need to start, like, setting up a GoFundMe so that me, Crispy, and Wacker can go cryptid hunting? Yes. I absolutely would go cryptic hunting with you guys because it would just be stupid and it'd be I wonderful. Would end up, have you end seen? Up, have you seen Mountain Men? <laughs> I just end up getting mad and like winging crispy with uh, with my uh, shot. Hell, wacker! You oh, have you no get the play. We, we would end up going oh, like yeah. full Dick Cheney. I'm crazy. <laughs> it absolutely would end up like that because you're just like, "Hi, wacker! You're staring at spooky things in these woods," and you're just like, "They're just." Shaking your hands as you're holding the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, man. We've we've heard of a horribly disgusting, hairless, disfigured fit creature hanging out in this woods, and at the end of the episode, was like, "Wait, what's that?" And the light shines, and they show like a naked man. It turns around. It's like Storm. He's like, "What are you doing here? What are no, you I'm doing here?" It, like, it, it, it shows Andy, and he's snoring. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I I would love to go cryptid hunting just so we can make like a shit post of a cryptid hunters show. Yep, I love the one they do in Supernatural, the Ghost Facers. Have you guys ever watched Ghost Adventures? Uh, it, Adventures, no. It is an experience. Are you <laughs> talking insane. about ghost stories? I'm talking about Ghost Adventures with Zach Baggins. Is that okay. the one where the guy's like, "Fight me, ghost"? Essentially, yes. It's multiple people yelling at the ghost, and then like they hear a noise and they start palm facing the camera, just like, "Oh my god, there's a ghost!" Okay, there's yeah. A ghost I, I like watching. I love it when Internet City puts out a "We're watching a scary shit" video. Oh man, I. You know what's funny? I spent like most of the stream working on this drawing, <laughs> and I'm just right. like, "Oh shit." Well, you know, maybe if it didn't have a head that was two deer skulls. <laughs> I see. I, will, I actually like that part. That was kind of fun. I will not apologize for art, Andrew. 
I mean, I just looked at it and well, I said, oh, I just said, oh dear. You know, now I understand why some oh, people God. hate George Lucas. He comes up with the ideas, but expect the other people to make the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have yep. you? Were you there when we watched that? Yeah. Documentary yes. They did on episode yes. one. Oh my yeah. god, the part where he's drawing on the storyboards with Sharpies, and he's like, oh, I got my colors mixed up. If I was the artist that did those storyboards, I would be, like, gripping my knuckles. I would be so mad. Oh, if, if you pay attention, his, like, second-in-command loses his hairline throughout the movie. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's great. Yeah, it's just like, uh You watch the man oh. slowly go bald. Wait, Actually, it, there's there's a cryptic we'll fucking draw. We'll draw, the, we'll draw George Lucas's fucking second on that show. So like, didn't they build that like that city out in the desert and it gets destroyed and they're like, I oh, will just CGI it, I guess. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Actually, you you did your Kirby crab. I did. I well, oh that's right, I did do the Kirby crab. I you did the Kirby that. crab and you did uh, Jeff. Now you're drawing a Simpsons character. He's kind of a Simpsons character in my brain right now, so... Hey, can you can you blame me for that? That just... That's Simpsons right there. Like, the upper lip and Look, the nose. Look, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like this isn't Simpsons-inspired, alright? I can't... I Whoa. can't just be like, Oh, I'm not original. I, I don't know what the Simpsons are. Yeah, who town's got jaundice, man? He's, he needs to look more like Haggard, so he needs he needs more wrinkles on his face. He had some also really like angry looking eyebrows, if I remember it correct. Okay, now he's starting to look like a Muppet, but I'm fine with that, because why the fuck not? Well, oh, by the way, I um, I haven't watched the Angel series, you know, the the knockoff Buffy show or whatever, but they made a knockoff Buffy show. No, oh, no, it God. was it was a it was a spinoff. Angel spinoff. Yeah, it's a spin-off. I'm sorry. I could be your angle or your devil. But, uh, apparently there's an episode where Angel gets turned into a Muppet. And they, like, have to deal with other demonically possessed Muppets, and it's just Wait, hilarious. Wasn't Angel the, uh, her vam vampire boy toy or whatever the fuck? Yeah, something like that. You know what? Oh my god, that's even funnier because he's in Bones as, like, the FBI guy in that. And I didn't know that he was in Buffy the Vampire Slayer until we watched that. And I gotta say, it makes it really hard to sit there and watch Bones. <laughs> didn't... Didn't Carrot Top die recently? Did Carrot Top die? No. Was it in a shootout with the police? Because that would make sense. Carrot Top recently. <laughs> let, me, let me check to see if it's safe. Is it safe to talk about Carrot Top? Look. We need to talk about Carrot Top. Uh, there's another one of those uh, oh, uh, things that I hate, which was uh, anytime an article starts with, we need to talk about. Oh, God. Oh, no, it wasn't Carrot Top that died. It was um the the exercise guy with the curly hair. Richard Simmons. Richard, Richard Simmons. Simmons. Okay. I was going to say, because I was like, there's only like one way I can think of Carrot Top going on. And it's like being in like six stars in Grand Theft Auto. The We're only way like... Carrot Top will die is when God lets him. <laughs> I thought you were going to say on camera. <laughs> I'm going to say something that's horrible. Is it something and... that's going to get the stream closed? No, it's, it's, it's something that when I look at Carrot Top, I think this every time. And I'm not saying it to be funny. Carrot Top looks like, the, like an acid attack victim, but nobody knows it happened. Oh fuck! You're not wrong. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Uh. I mean. Also, to Quinlist, carrot top, carrot top, carrot top. Does he not like carrot top? No, he said, "Don't say his name three times." Oh god, no! We don't want to. He'll hop into stream and then we'll be. In god. Like, How'd you get in the BPL? And he's just like, "Fuck you!" That's how. I don't think I. I'm. I'm worried that that movie is gonna be just shit. What's Wait, what movie? Borderlands? Because I've but, got some no, bad news about Borderlands. No, the new Beetlejuice movie that's coming out. Oh yeah, they are making another one for some reason. I uh, grew up because, watching the Beetlejuice cartoon, yeah. so... I very vaguely remember the Beetlejuice cartoons, but I... La 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 la
as his Joker laugh, like, ah! <laughs> it's showtime! Wait. <laughs> so, I remember the theme song, but it's not from what you think. You guys ever see the, the, the Source Animation Gorgeous Freeman? Uh, oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, and before you say anything, UNC Samurai, we're not talking that he took acid. We're talking that somebody spilled acid on him. Oh no, I fully think that Carrot Top took acid. Oh yes, 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 he definitely did. Of his own volition his, because he was tripping that hard. His skin looks like it has no elasticity to it. His skin yeah. looks bad. Yeah, not to say he doesn't look like he's taken acid. We were just saying an acid attack. And again, I know that it's a mean thing to say, but it's like, I'm not saying it to be mean, I'm saying it to be true. And Look, I'm just saying I think it'd be an improvement for the guy. And... Hey, he, is, he is jacked as fuck, though. I wouldn't I wouldn't like talk shit to him if we were in the same <laughs> well, that's room. that's the thing, it's like this whole time I've been thinking of the one Reno 911 skit where they had a standoff with Carrot Top for like half the episode. That's like, amazing. It was just like them behind him behind shit at a hotel as he's throwing shit off the roof. It's kind of funny. It's like, man, I really want to be a comedian, and like, a lot of people don't like him, but he's jacked as hell, and he's like, really good at working out. Go ahead, heckle me. I fucking dare you. Imagine, imagine somebody's like, like, I really want to be a playwright, and all his playwrights suck, but he's a really good chef, you know? Oh, so he's Gordon Ramsay. No. <laughs> Wait, what? Gordon Ramsay's a playwright? I want to see his rendition of uh, Hamlet. I'm just gonna. See I wouldn't be surprised if Gordon Ramsay is a good playwright. Like, he might have some papers that come out, and it's like, holy shit, this is like Shakespearean shit. Yeah. Well, you know what they say: suffering, suffering makes good art. And you know, I had to live in the Americas for a while, so here we are. I had to experience American cooking, so I suffered quite a lot, actually. Trying to make this guy like wipe his face with a rag, and it's not turning out the way I'd hoped. <laughs> well, it's not the way the rag hoped either. Hmm. Oh God, his arm looks broken. Ah. Uh. It's not his arm that's broken, it's his spirit. I, I, after having to finance episode one, I can definitely see that being his spirit being broken. This poor Muppet-ass motherfucker having to deal with George Lucas. Looking at this... So, I, get, I got quoted, apparently, a while back saying, Look at this rhombus-ass motherfucker. Um, I should let it be known that that was me quoting Dan Abadam from Game Grumps, so, like, I don't know if I should be quoted saying that. <laughs> Yo, dog, heard you like quotes, so we put quotes in your quotes. We are, Knowing we are, us? We are, yes. We are giving you full attribution, Storm. Okay, I guess I can steal from one of my favorite YouTubers once. Not twice, though. Never twice. Let's see if I can do this again. Gee whiz, Storm, you keep stealing other people's jokes. Are you sure you're not uh, Mario Carlos Gantia? Yeah. Carlos Mencia, you mean? Carlos Mario Mencia. Mencia. Carlos yeah. Mario Mencia. Carlos, it's the same thing. You're mixing up Carlos Mencia with Mario Cantone. Who the hell is Mario what? Cantone? Yeah, no, I doubt it. Like a washed out, uh, or a washed up uh, comedian from like the Dark Ages. Do you have any idea how little that narrows down? <laughs> There's this commercial that I, I think of every once in a while because it hurts me. It's um I'm trying to remember how it goes, which kind of feeds into it. It's a uh, They're talking about um I don't know, they're selling a product, and this guy's like, I heard that that product's bad. He says, you know, John, you're always wrong. You're always wrong. He's like, I'm not always wrong. He says, it's fringe benefits, not French benefits. He's like, what? It's good to have French with the Benedicts. 
And it's like, I feel like that I'm that guy, like the guy who's always wrong, because he just... I mean, sometimes you hear a word and you never see it, and then likewise you see a word and never hear it pronounced, so you get all kinds of... Let me tell you like, something, guys. Growing up in the Deep South and being, being taught how to spell things phonetically... Oh, I bet that was great. How do you spell this? Just sound it out. Yeah. You didn't realize that we're a bunch of southern rednecks, right? It's like, where do you think we are? I had an I... English teacher. She said, go wash your hands. And I just look at her. I'm like... I heard, quite a, I heard quite a bit of that growing up, too, Andy. Wash. wash. Even though I did not grow up in the South. I, I heard a lot of things like period. you shouldn't say that to people. You are an eternal eldritch man child. <laughs> I heard things yeah, like man. I heard things like keep your voice down and please stop doing that to the dog. Your theme oh, song is the Toys R Us theme, but in D minor. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but I know saying things in D minor usually makes it depressing. <laughs> uh, D minor is usually where you put a song if you want it to be a little more morbid, because it's slightly below what uh, most guitars are tuned in. And boy howdy, when I think of you, I think of, look, that guy is D minor. Yep. Now, uh... Uh, okay, it should be noted you know that there are guitars I'm tuned in D, and that's right how now. you get like, that's how you get chugga metal. But chugga metal, gent as others call it, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <laughs> like the uh -oh. shit. Five flavored death punch. Yeah, five flavored fruit punch. <laughs> so you know how channels have the like the guy that's like tonight on CBR, Rosie O'Donnell and. After that, or you know, the, the guy that's. Nobody! Tonight on WBBL 76, Wacker, yeah. who finds the... out that Rosie O'Donnell was his mother the whole time, proceeds to make out with her! Oh, this is. I hate everything you just said. This is WBBL. But you would watch it, and you know it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I had a hard time watching Mari because I'm like, these people are fucking stupid. I, I imagine this is the WBPL76 announcer guy, and he's just like, <laughs> this is one of his so, reads of what's next episode, and he's just like having a conniption fit. So George Ledoux, we get George Ledoux to read for Yeah, WBPL. George, like, puppet, like, text somehow got the essence of George Ledoux and, like, oh, used God. voodoo magic to put it into a puppet. He's his cursed, he uses cursed gunsmith magic to put George Ledoux's soul into a fucking puppet. Gunsmith voodoo magic. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hear about this and be like, what the fuck? <sighs> We're sorry, Tex, but we've legally concluded you're a necromancer. I mean, there's worse things you could legally conclude. Gunsmith voodoo. Like we're legally concluding that you're guilty on all felony charges. Or wait, wait, wait! Oh. Considering some of the stuff I said a few minutes ago, Ether, what are you saying we need art of? Oh no! <laughs> so I'm um, scared. You know the ring you pull out of a grenade. You mean the pin? The pin. Yeah. That. Yes. Yes, that's, Andrew. I uh, that's what a gunsmith voodoo <laughs> priest puts in his nose. Alakabla. Oh god, these hands look terrible. Why are they I'm robot sorry, hands? I don't know. I'm trying to draw these fucking hands, and I'm having a hard time doing it because I may have been having a few while we've been doing. You're this. about to catch these hands. Oh, yeah. so you were pre -ga you were pre gaming with alcohol because you knew I would be designing the head again. Oh no, I just tend to do that because you know. And I'll form the head. No, god Crispy. damn it. Crispy, don't take away from me the one thing that makes me happy that I might cause you to drink. Um, I thought that I mean, was that, also that, that can just happen in general. I, oh I god, thought that was causing me emotional and psychological damage. No, Crispy, I, I have an idea. It's going to take you a while to finish this, but have this guy absolutely right. 
have this guy looking at his hands and his hands are like hyper realistic like uh Ren and Stimpy hyper realistic <laughs> and he just doesn't understand well now I okay now okay now now I know how to now I know how I'm gonna do this hold on he's, he's looking at his hands like the, he's got this Simpson ass Muppet looking face but his hands are like perfect like like the the masters of old created them. <laughs> is he is he is he having space madness might just be tripping balls what was the name of the ship from um, uh, Event Horizon? The Event the Horizon. Event Horizon. Event Horizon. Oh. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, a voice in my brain says it's going to be the Event Horizon, and you're going to look like an asshole. And you know, my forward-thinking voice is like, "Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Are you talking? So the ship itself is the Event Horizon. Are you talking about the rescue ship? The uh, no, rescue I'm talking ship about Lewis and Clark." No, I was talking about the actual ship, like the horror ship, like the bad ship. Okay, yeah, it's called. The I Event thought Horizon. Event Horizon. Event Horizon is that part of uh, the black hole where if you if you go past it, there's no return. That's why the ship was named that for the sake of the movie. There is no return. Except yeah. they did return. Yes, and they were still being uh, like hyper ass haunted. Yeah. Is it okay to talk about like what's going on in the movie, or is it spoilery? They all get sodomized by Furbies. <laughs> whoa! 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 whoa. He's, he's not that far off. You kept telling me it's where my Furbies come from. He's we were right. not that so, so, far so off. For what, so for one thing, Andy, spoilers for a 27-year-old movie. Oh my god, it's old enough to fucking drink... Yes. Oh, oh, my favorite... I, I watched in horror some of my favorite video games became old enough to drive, then vote, then drink, then rent a car. Oh my god. Alright, so I want to ask this. Is there any actual paranormal shit going on, or did they yes. just, like, freak oh, out? Jesus because... Christ, yes. Yeah, so the premise oh, of yeah. the movie is that the ship uh, uses a system that turns black holes into gateways and rips from one side of time and space to the other. And in doing so, finds that there's something in between which, which could best be described as hell is only a word. There's something on the way. So, Andy, this is the movie that that has a that has been kind of accepted by yeah, I've, I've heard that gay fans as like this. This was the first finding of the war. Yeah, I, I heard that. I was just because I've also heard that like. Like everything they experience is just like some sort of shipwide uh, psychokinosis that they imagine. No. Like nothing actual supernatural happens. They just for oh, some no. reason they're all going batshit crazy. Yeah. You know what else has been accepted by 40k fans? These prices. Yay! Also, no, uh, that hasn't been accepted. Also, I mean, also guys, we, also, also guys, guys, we have been given permission in chat. If you take a look to uh, spoil any movies that are six years or uh, six years old. I was going to say, if you haven't seen Event Horizon by now, I don't know, go read the Wikipedia article. There is a there is a short story or something about... There's, like, uh, these portals that they discover. I think aliens, like, give us technology for portals. Yeah. And I'll be like, right back. I have to check my laundry. Nate kills Dr. Weir. No, it's, um... You can go through the portals, but you have to be asleep, and... Oh, God. that was a we're Stephen King. This. That was a Stephen King short story. That sounds like a Stephen King type. Yeah. Story. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like has it, to be it, asleep when we travel through the existential dread dimension. And in, in Stephen King's uh, short story, it's basically that you know teleportation is possible, but you have to go through it unconscious because, um, like, if you go through it awake. It's it's basically eternity is is how long it is like it like it seems to be eternity to the oh I thought like there were like giant space god bugs that would look at you no, while no, traveling no. it would cause people no, to go no. insane because giant space bug gods are looking at you no it's you have to be asleep because it's if your mind is awake it's literally eternity. I gotcha, I gotcha. 
And in Stephen King's short story, the guy who's telling his kids about the invention of uh, the teleport history and all that stuff, he's talking about it and all this other stuff in this back history. And he's there with his wife and his son and daughter. And his son fakes taking the sleeping pill. And when at the very end of the story, when they come out the other side, the, the son has... Like, his hair's gone completely white, his eyes are, like, sickly, deep Sith yellow, and he's basically screaming, like, it's longer than you think, longer than you think. And he claws his own eyes out. Metal. What movie was this? It's not a movie, it's the Stephen I King short story. Ah. It was either Night Shift, it's, it was either on the Night Shift book or Nightmares and Dreamscapes, I don't remember which one. They're both. I, uh... I have to say, Crispy, that the stubble is very good. Like, I really... Like, no shit, like, this is really good stubble. I was gonna put a word bubble in here, but I had a different thought in my head. <laughs> a fart bubble? The draw is Jessica it. Rabbit. Oh, no, no, I, it's still gonna be related to... Oh, oh right. I know what it is. <laughs> I, I do have something else that I'm gonna need you to, uh... Uh... Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Um, I was reading something there. Uh, I yeah, need you to draw something for me, Crispy, because I believe you alone can outdo the AI art, which could not give me what I wanted. I will absolutely outdo AI art. Fuck AI art. I'm gonna say that live on stream. Fuck AI art. Okay, so uh, your challenge then is to draw a version of Psydoc, except for from the waist down, it's uh, Jessica Rabbit's legs. <laughs> And oh he's doing the God. and he's doing the he's doing the can can. The title will be Thigh Doc. What? Yes. Storm. All right. Storm. Uh, we'll <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm just imagining like, you know, your typical side duck in a science lab coat, but mm -hmm. where the lab coat ends instead of like you know the little side duck legs, it's like long, sexy, silk net. You know, legs with the red slippers, you know? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You you get what I'm laying down. You get what's being perverted here. But you want it to be dancing like that. I'm thinking he's standing there like like he does or, it or doing this. his legs have been like... Yeah. Doing like the seductive the, showing of legs thing or something. Uh... Because thigh dock. The Jar Jar is the, <laughs> is the key to this. Oh wait, was that the guy? Is that the guy? He's the he's the second in command. Yes. The one who the one I who spent the whole. The <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> Darth Jar Jar is real now. I wish it was. It is. It is, though. What? There's a Lego set involving Jar Jar Jar. Well, if it's Legos, it's, it's at least beta canon at that point. They're making an animation of it, too. Yep. You know? Good on you. Like... I mean... I need to. Uh, if you can have a Wookiee for a few minutes, uh, sure. Okay. If you can have a Jedi Wookiee, I think you could have a Sith uh, Gungan. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily have to be Jar Jar. How do you spell mortgage? There, there is a there is a Mort comic where Gage. there is a comic where I think a uh, uh, a a. a Imperial trooper sees Jar Jar with the lightsaber and like a bunch of dead bodies, and then he like drops the sword. He's like, "Oh, I dropped the sword! Oh, how weird! I, uh, all of these bodies are all." <laughs> it's funny how you. Oh, isn't that weird? It's funny how your uh, Jar Jar voice is very akin to Mister Tran's voice or Doctor like Tran's voice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm giggling at this drawing way too much than I should be, but I'm just like, I'm just imagining this shit. Him in his office sweating like, oh god, <laughs> my retirement fund. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What do you think this guy's doing nowadays? Do you think he's just like chain smoking in like an apartment in Soho? Ironically, oh, he's, he's he's sharing the same fate of Jar Jar. He's like doing clown tricks by with an orphan kid in France or something. Are you fucking for real? No, but <laughs> so in that, uh, that wouldn't surprise me honestly. In like one of the things Disney released uh, for the like the what do you call it the Star Wars theme event area. Uh, there's a thing that said uh, Jar Jar Binks went on or retired and went on to be a clown. On another world, the adults hated him, but some of the kids liked him. Yeah, he's just like, oops, I caused the umpire. Just... Yep. <laughs> oh, God, this drama is fucking crazy. I don't know why I'm laughing so hard at this, but I'm just... <laughs> I, I gotta ask... Uh... I gotta ask Farah if there is. Well, you know, I could probably look it up on the internet, but I'd rather just ask. I want to see if there's like a cosplay of the uh, ATATs from Star Wars, like two guys. Oh, like, I guarantee you that definitely is. Two guys, exists. one suit. Yeah. No, no, no. You're no, the one making it weird, no, Crispy. Stop. No. <laughs> no. No. Post Yin Hadu, apparently is a real Sith Gungan in the thing. If it was real. Okay, this, from what I'm seeing from the commercial, this is like alternate reality bullshittery, so... Oh, what? The Lego Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, multi multiple universe uh, ism is pretty much on the the same like wing as time travel once you start introducing that in the <coughs> storytelling you might have lost the sheep yeah i mean honestly that's well the worst part is there's actually my... interesting ways to do it but yeah, yeah i mean like back to the future and all that, that, that that's all it is to it and it's like ooh. well shit yeah. like that is why i don't really like a lot of the crossover fan fiction type shit people write like, I'm sorry if people were into that that are watching the stream, but I don't like that kind of stuff. God damn it, we need a soundboard. No, we don't. Well, it's... I don't know. It's just a personal thing of mine. I don't really feel like getting into the whys and details of it just because it's going to be a rant. I don't feel like ranting. It's okay. It's I more mean, of just my personal t taste, I guess. You could as say. long as you make this guy's skin yellow like a Simpsons character, I'll forgive you. <laughs> He might have gotten jaundice having to deal with this shit. His liver might have gotten jaundice from all the alcohol he had to drink, deal with George Lucas' shit. He's one of the few men to ever suffer post-birth fetal alcohol syndrome. Oh, God. <laughs> he came out with a whiskey bottle and just... I'm a 45-year-old Holoquin baby. I'm an external pain. Oh my god! <laughs> the thing you said, Andy, delights me and upsets me all at the same time. Yeah, I'm gonna second that. Because I'm just like, that's so fucked up. I have done my job and I fly away like Superman. <laughs> yeah, but you fly... Actually, I would like it if you flew away like the one superhero I came up with where he flies like a boomerang, so it's like end over end through the air. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Night, Night Owl, uh, this is not a Klingon, though I can see why you think that. This is, uh, a, this is a Klingon! Uh, this is, if you uh, watch the documentary on the behinds of scenes, the scenes of making uh, Star Wars Episode One. you can watch as the assistant director slowly loses his hairline throughout the whole movie, as the documentary is pretty much solely devoted to showing you how much of a crazy nut job George Lucas is. It really is. And then Disney unironically just put it up on their service. It's like, look, we love Star Wars. Here's this thing about the making of. And you don't see them. They did, definitely did not read between the lines when they submitted that to Disney+. Plus Because it's just like, oh. there, There's a scene. I don't think it's from that movie. But there's, there's like a skit or basically like George Lucas is going through like somebody's office and they have these toys of uh characters and like i forgot what the male character was but they had like the red twi'lek sith and he's like he's like playing with the toys is like they're friends and the guy says oh their stories have them taking pl place like 
thousands of years away from each other. And he looks at the guy and he says, they're friends. <laughs> oh, God. And then the writer just is in the other room and he just sighs and lights a cigarette. Just like, it's going to be a long fucking afternoon. You know, I keep thinking of that scene from Back to the Future where he shows up to that kid's room as Darth Vader and he's like playing the tape. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he oh, shows up to his dad. Oh, it's his dad, isn't it? It's his dad. He's like, I'm Darth Vapor. And he's just like, 420. That's definitely how it went, right? All I'm surrounded by is fear <laughs> and dead men. It's really not a good pickup line to say at a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I know you meant cancelled Darth Maul video game, TK, but a cancelled Darth Maul video game makes me laugh my ass off because the idea of, like, what did he say to get himself cancelled? <laughs> I, I think he said what I just said. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Actually, I do like that idea of a Darth Maul game where he just goes up to people and just says horrible things and they're just like... Oh my god, you can't say that. He's like on Twitter, he's like, at last we will have a revenge. <laughs> Maul said all the Ewoks look alike. <laughs> Man, they would be so upset if they could actually use smartphones. <laughs> Screw that actually, George Lucas guy. Yeah. Says Darth Maul. It's like, I like that George Lucas guy. He knows how to... <laughs> oh, man, I should have put, like, hearts and shit behind this. Fuck. That would have been great, just have like little hearts and things behind George as he's saying this. Because he's just like, I can't keep giving him money, but I love this guy. Are we being raided? Are we? What's happening? We are being raided from Raider Elbat. Hello, Elbat. Welcome to WPPL 76, everyone. There it is. <laughs> it looks like friends of their flex, apparently, and Cosmo Nomad. I see. I and know. Jules Butte, and Larar May, and Cosmo Nerds. Or no, Nomad. Uh, sorry, that was it again. Yay! Hello, thank you for the raid, everyone. Well, oh, sh holy shit, Crispy, you're at 95 viewers. Holy shit. Well, back up and let them see a bit of what the picture is right now. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with... Uh, there's a documentary of uh, the making of Star Wars Episode One on Disney, and we are currently... Well, I am currently drawing the executive who, over the course of it, you see slowly lose his hair as he tries to deal with financing this movie. So, yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine this is probably not too far from accurate historical take on what happened. So, uh... Alright, Crispy. Yeah, if we can find a way to get a manga about this guy that gets uh, reincarnated in an isekai. <laughs> no, God! <laughs> that, that time I was sent into the world that my boss helped create. <laughs> oh, God, no! I... Good God... I hate it. He's one of Anakin. He's reincarnated as one of Anakin's friends. <laughs> God, Isekai has really put like a bad taste in my mouth for shit. I'm there's because there's just so much of it that is just so fucking. Mm -hmm. I, don't even I mean, know. there is good ones out there, but like anything that gets popular it follows the ninety ten rule, which is to say, ninety percent of any genre is shit, 
and the other ten percent is good. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's a bit of an exact. Like... That's a bit of an exaggeration because it's more like. Oh, we don't 40... exaggerate here. Well, forty-five percent is mundane. Forty-five percent is shit, and then ten percent is good. Yes. Man, but uh, this... so I'm any of you, brother, but he's not gonna get it. Any of you who are new here, uh, welcome to WBPL76. We are a multi-streamer channel and the streaming arm of the Black Pants Legion. Welcome. Yes, welcome. And I'm mm -hmm. currently shitposting with my drawing abilities. Okay. Uh, timer note, Crispy, it is 4... Th well, for you, it's Oh, that's 30. fine. I'm, I, I'm just... Uh, yeah, well, you know, we could probably just leave it here. I think it's a good spot, honestly. I just wanted to get, like, more of the face filled in, but I think this works. Mm hmm <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us on this Tuesday afternoon for another drawing session. We're glad you could take part, and thank you all to the people that just suddenly showed up with the raid, because that was interesting and nice of you to show up. So. Yay! All right. And I will leave you all on this wonderful creature, which... Is most of what the stream took up, and Jeff the Rugaro Kaiju, Rugaro Kaiju. There you go. And remember, everyone, uh, be good to each other, stay safe. Turkey bacon is the best bacon. And drink no, water. <laughs> drink water. Drink your turkey water. bacon. <laughs>